Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new around here, welcome to my kitchen. This is what my kitchen looks like. And today we're gonna be doing a lot of work in here. I've got a couple things I'm gonna show you over here, some supplies to get started. So the ultimate goal today is just to get everything a little more organized. I have some ideas of how I wanna rearrange things and just get into my cabinets, get them cleaned out change around some organization. The pantry is gonna really change today or I'm gonna do a lot in there. Um, here, why don't I go ahead and show you guys what it looks like on the inside. So this is what it looks like now. And as you can see, it's just, I don't know. It's not very functional. I just recently did my laundry room. I did a laundry room makeover. I'll leave the link below if you guys are interested. But um, I use the jars out of here for that. And I don't know, we just need a better solution in here. It's not working out. I think it's somewhat okay, but I have just a few things I wanna work on in here. And then over here, I've got a few things. One of them is I got a new bread box from Amazon. I'm gonna open this up. It looks super similar to my other one that's over here, but it's a little bit higher, so I can put two loaves of bread in it. And this one I can turn around and use somewhere else. Um, so I'm excited to open this up and then I got some labels that I'm gonna be using in the pantry These were on Amazon. I think they were like I have no idea 12 bucks and there is a lot of them in here I'm not even sure I think it might tell me there's hundred and thirty six labels And it's literally anything and everything you could think of that would go in your pantry and then I get so many questions about these lights right here I mean even Instagram messages you guys ask me so often about these lights and they're from a brand called Gove I've worked with them actually before but I'm this isn't sponsored by them or anything But I have repurchased from them multiple times just because we leave these on even at night Like all the time and we've had them forever and they've held up well I've never had an issue with them so I just highly recommend this brand. And they're also what lights up my pantry as well. So we had had lights over on this side like these. Sorry, I don't wanna make you guys dizzy. But they were not the right length. They were too long and so I was like constantly trying to shove them up. It was just a mess. So these are the right length. So I'm going to put these up today. So I'll show you guys how I put them up. And then I got new contact paper. This is really cute contact paper. It's like kind of a chevron print. Um, every once in a while, I think I would say every six months or so, I go through as I'm decluttering and cleaning out and organizing, reorganizing my kitchen. Cause you guys know, it's kind of a thing that needs to be done every once in a while. I always change out the contact paper that's inside of my drawers and stuff. And then this is what's making this video so budget friendly. I already have a ton of jars and I just needed to buy a pack of these white lids and then obviously the labels to be able to organize my pantry. I was trying to figure out what is the you know cheapest way to organize my pantry and I already have a lot of ball jars. So I got these and it's gonna work out really great. I have another little hack I'm gonna show you guys um, whenever it comes to an inexpensive way to organize your pantry. I'll show you here after a bit. So the first thing I think I'm gonna do is open this up, swap out my bread container, and get the lighting set up on that side of the kitchen. I am super happy with these. You can't see them very well because it's so bright in here right now, but um, it worked out great. And this kind, as long as you follow the instructions, you can cut them with scissors. So I actually just trimmed off the end that I didn't need and everything else turned out great. Okay, another thing that I've been 
considering doing, debating doing, is taking this chair set out of here just because the girls are getting to the age where I think we're having more water spills because there's not enough space for them to actually like eat at this table. They eat lunch there and stuff a lot. And so I decided to take this back to my daughter's room. We're gonna try it out. I have placemats coming for our big table in the dining room. So I'm gonna kind of eliminate this for now. We can always put it back if it doesn't work out. And then I have another little stand that I'm gonna bring in here that's actually out in our entryway. And then this window was replaced. Um, my husband replaced it a few weeks ago. And the window sill itself, um, the bottom part, needs to be painted. So I'm gonna quick put a touch of paint on that and take these out of here. Okay, so now that I've got this a little bit more rearranged, down in here is some pantry stuff, as you can see, and this is part of what I'm gonna be moving into the pantry and then using this area for some like more dishes storage. Um, but in the process of doing that, I actually got a grocery order, half of it's in the refrigerator, so I'm just leaving it all out because I'm about to go ahead and empty out the pantry. Alright, everything's emptied out of there. I also wiped down the um, little tack board, took some of the stuff off of there, and now I'm going to wash up some of these tubs that they just need to be scrubbed up with a Mr. Clean eraser. And then I'm also going to clean these. I had made my own labels at one point. If you guys watched whenever I actually like did the shelves in here and the painted the pantry and put the lights in there. I had done another organizing video at one point. Um, I had made my own labels. Well, they didn't hold up as good as they could have. And now I'm kind of ready for something new anyways. So I'm gonna wash up these uh, cereal containers and snack containers also and just get everything nice and clean so we can start fresh. Alright, so I put these boards in here. I just painted them. They're just a 2x6 cut to the length of this um, shelf. I see a little spot right there. I might have to like touch up later. So up here, I'm basically using them as a riser. As you can see, kind of to give myself a step there to be able to put two rows of jars so that the back row you can actually see the label and see what's going on. And then I think I'm gonna put the cereal and snack containers back here with the little lazy Susan just because my daughters can reach this uh, shelf. And I did put these bins back in. So now is gonna be the task of getting a bunch of these jars out of here, swapping the lids for the new plastic ones. 
um, and then labeling the stuff. So let's get stocking the pantry. is taking me way longer than I expected it to. Mainly because I have a lot more ingredients and things that I'm trying to put in here than what I realized. So I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this top shelf. I thought I would leave it go until I got into all of this to figure out what I wanted to do. I just got those up there to see uh, how many would fit up there and if two of the big ones could fit this way. So I'm actually going to make another little stepper thingy for this shelf as well i'm not going to worry about it today um i'm just going to get it, everything in here today and then in the next week or so make myself another one so like i said i had a lot more ingredients and stuff and then the little uh lazy susan that goes in here i actually have down here i was trying out putting it um putting those jars on that and I don't think I have quite enough jar lids to do all of this. I, like I said, I just did not realize how many different things I had all piled in all of this stuff and everywhere. So now I'm trying to squeeze it all in here and it's gonna work out. It'll be really great when it's done because even though you can't initially see these labels, there's a lot of room right here to where you can just pick it up and see what's in it and it's easy for me to find what I need really quickly. You don't have bags dumping stuff everywhere. It's just so much more orderly. So I'm gonna keep working on loading stuff up to go in here. The great yellow sun. Okay, I'm losing daylight. <laughs> But I'm making a lot of progress and now I'm kind of moving on to this whole section and I feel like I want to completely redo everything about these upper cabinets. The, my essential oils, I think I'm gonna move back towards our bathroom because I feel like they, we tend to use a lot more of that stuff for, you know, bathroom in the bathroom and when we're doing other things like that. This is the progress that I made in here. And I'm super happy with it. I could use a few more jars up here if I wanted to, but to be honest, I think I have almost everything. Also, I need to get some more of the white lids for this section here. I may end up just leaving them like this for now. I don't know. It is really nice to have these style lids because they seal really good and they don't come apart like the ring and the lid do on the traditional lids. But these three ingredients here I didn't have stickers for. They're kind of more of a special um, style ingredient for like certain kinds of healthy cooking. So, but I love this being on here. It's such an easy way for me to find what I need. And then I have to now put these uh, together down here. So I think that's what I'm gonna do now before I get too deep into the upper cabinets. Also, this thing has a cover right here. 
and I'm tempted to get super glue and just glue it on there like just a really thin line because it falls out of that hole all the time. I'm not sure if it's just slowly getting dark or if it's gonna rain but it's definitely getting darker in here. So I'm so incredibly happy with how this looks. My broom does hang in here. Um, the little thing that it hangs on just broke off and I need to either fix it or get another broom that hangs right in here. But I am so thrilled with how this is looking. I've got all of this going on up here. I wanna do just like a whole tour when I'm done, but I'm just checking in with you guys. So what I'm doing down here is this is like keto related stuff and just healthy ingredients for those things or else like keto snacks, that kind of stuff. I needed a place for that. This is extra condiments, so like mayo, stuff like that. Sorry if you hear the girls in the background, they're playing in their bikes in the garage. This is all of my canned goods, great in there. And then this is just back stock. So right now there's like extra sugar in there that would go up in some of these things. So, and then these two, I'm gonna leave as flex space. So no matter what, I have a little extra room if I need to shove, like in here's a bag of chips. Um, just a place to kind of put stuff that doesn't necessarily have a category or whatever. You, you always need a little flex space whenever it comes to food storage, so I know that I'll be happy with having that there. Up here is my Keurig. Down here is where I've been keeping like tumblers and coffee cups and stuff like that. But I really need some extra space for like dishes, so I really want to use this space for that. So. I'm planning to take these coffee cups, or the coffee cups, put them in that little um, container with the drawers that I brought over on the other side. Then these I'm gonna put up in a different one. So I'm gonna pull all of this out and put some dishes in here. Nobody's like you. You are not normal at all, no. I feel like I want to let down my guard and just fall. Cause someone was before you And someone let me go It's time I must know for sure Cause someone was before you And someone let me go But I just need to be sure Some say love's not for the bitter ones Some say love will only bring you down Some say love I'm working on the spices And these came today while I was working on the kitchen and I really needed a new salt and pepper shaker and I thought these were just really really cute I feel like they're such good quality they are glass and they do come in a couple different colors from Amazon but I love stuff that has labels if you can't tell and these are just awesome okay guys so it's the next day I did not have enough energy to completely finish everything last night so I'm getting ready to get everything organized up in these cabinets um, I'm going to do kind of an extension of the pantry over here just for like things like granola bars and fruit snacks and stuff that just kind of goes into little baskets. Then up here, I don't know if I have a whole lot, which is okay. It's okay to have empty spaces. It always helps whenever you get something new and you don't know where to put it. You've got a spot for it. And then this one here is all about like my spices, baking stuff and all of that. So I'm gonna get everything put up in here and um, probably wipe out the containers as I'm putting things up just cause I took stuff out and went through it and now it's ready to get back there. In case you guys missed it in the title, this is part one of two videos of organizing my kitchen. I ended up filming it all and once it was edited, realized that it was going to be like an hour long video. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I decided to go ahead and split it up into two videos. So if you wanna see the second half, do go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new around here and you guys will catch the second half in the next week. And I hope that this motivated you. Let me know below if you are thinking of using any of these ideas in your kitchen. Let me know what you thought about the video. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. And don't forget to give this video a like and I will see you guys in my next video.